Next event, not that many sleeps away. So we've got to get bullet out, clean it up, do a couple of checks. First job, moving the car trailer out of the way. So when we put the transfer case all back together, I pulled the winch rope off to wash and I worked my way all the way to the drum only to find that it's broken at the end on the lug. We'll see if we can sort it out, otherwise I'm gonna to have to take the one off the LM106 dual cab until Roadrunner gets me up the new one. Now we're not gonna need a winch for the event that we're doing at Eastern Creek, but it's always nice in case we need to be recovered that we can use a winch. So I will get some rope on it one way or another. What incident? What rock garden? So Adam and I have decided for this URC on the man-made mountain at Eastern Creek that we'll go back to running the 37. We'll drop the center of gravity, we'll be a little bit narrower, but we know the truck on 37s performed really well. The height I've got with these 40s, we don't think we're gonna need at this particular event. The side angles I wanna to cater for more so than ground clearance. Now this event we're going to is gonna be run over three days, the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, from nine till five. As the show's open, we'll be there competing. So these are now Adam's 37s on the Creeper Locks. He's a little concerned that we will wear them out a little bit, but I promised him I'll take it easy on them. Now URC, it's a different beast of a competition where a pair of witches hats actually define the course of the track as opposed to having bunting. So often your quickest route through the pair of cones are massive side angles. Now these URC track builders, they're all old school hardcore wheelers. So they want to see us on massive angles where driver and navigator have to work hard together and think smart. Slow, slow driving, using your rear disconnect. It's a thinking game, this one. Now this event's not necessarily a competition that suits my driving style, or the truck for that matter, leaf springs. And I have first-hand experience of getting it wrong. Eastern Creek a decade ago. I had a different truck here but similar setup, different motor and box, but a similar truck. Back then it was more of a two car event and there was quite a bit of bunting so it wasn't like the event we're about to do. Now sure the 40s helped us at the On All Fours Challenge where we needed clearance and height. But a different event we're able to use numbers here. I feel we will not have that luxury at Eastern Creek on the man-made mountain. Ended up just making a lug out of a bit of aluminium. So the cable will go again. 
I know I've mentioned this before, but this being the newer model of their winches, the remote control works without having to plug in a receiver for it. So it's already in the control box. So I can have the in-car one connected to it and still use the remote control. Great work, guys. I love that idea. Freshly painted cage. The other bit of maintenance I want to do, I want to drain the oil in the diffs and just make sure that that brake we had not long ago in the bush where we did the output shaft didn't affect anything else. So what I'm going to be looking for is chunks of metal on the drain plug. Gives us the opportunity to put in some fresh 8140. Again, thanking Penrite. Remember that brake? Now the drain plug was clean as far as metal, a few little files on there, but it felt like something came out when I initially did the drop. Not sure if I'm just being paranoid. Yeah, all, right, all good. Front diff's good. While we're under here and dirty, I'm going to drain the engine oil. I'm going to put in the Penrite 1550. A Z9 oil filter. Ice cream container sitting on that front pumpkin. Stops lots of mess. Let it drain before you completely take it off. Might do a filter swap this time too. Or at least have a look at it and clean it if it looks clean. Yeah, it's a bit dirty. I think we've got a new one of these. Check the big 80 series rear end. Oh, look at that. It's like brand new, that oil. That rear diff had so much stress on it. On these couple of attempts before we led up to the garden where we broke. All that pressure was on that rear end, those rear axles, the rear centre. Right hand, right hand, right hand! You mad bugger! I need to be fluent, it's where I'm just gassing it from the bottom and just hits the belly. I need the wheels in the air to come down. A little bit more left, yeah. Notice how I chose to do all this before we took the 40s off. A lot more height. You'll see the difference. It's a massive difference, a 37 to a 40. Have a look at that difference. It looks like about a good three inches. So what that also means is I'm gonna get a bit more up travel because this tire hits that at the moment and that's what stops the up travel. That bump stop will compress and I do have a bit more height in that shock. So this tire in theory is gonna go up further until it hits that hoop. Having that little bit more up travel is gonna give me a little bit more stability. Wheels on ground equals safety. Same size rim, obviously a lot more meat on the 40s. But these 37s, they're primed for this kind of terrain. They've got some good wear in them. I don't expect to be using that second case at all, not with the 37s. We did a lot of the stuff at On All Fours Comp in a single case. But some of it's second gear, that fast stuff. The weather forecast for next weekend is not that great either. A fair bit of rain forecast. But an event, 40 minutes from home. Can't complain about that.
bit of love here for Adam's wheels. We'll polish these up, make them look brand new. Such a good rim. I can't, I can't rate them high enough. Both on this car and for Adam's truck to hold air on his tyres, this is the only set that's done it on that big girl of his. And then straighten up as you go. Go, 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 go. A little bit right. Go, 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 go. go. Do not stop. Punching. Go, punch, punch, punch. Okay, you're off. Drop, drop, drop. Go, 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 go. You're going to have to commit. For reasons like this, you do take the wheel off or jack it up. Look at that tie rod end. I think this one's the same. You can see there the thread that come loose. That's it from me. I hope to see some of you at the event. Come say g'day. We'll have some Team Bullet stickers on us. A big list of trucks throughout the three classes. Some big names. I can't wait. Four sleeps to go. Hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, thanks for watching.